Hey guys, welcome back to another show. I'm your host, Roxy, and I'm wearing Disc by Ellen Villa. Take a look at this style, you guys. This is something to really spice up your wig collection. I didn't plan on matching it with my outfit today, but it really elevated it. Look at the asymmetric style you have here. And this color, you guys, this is aubergine mix. So you have a dark brown with hints of plum and bright cherry red with dark burgundy highlights. I mean, absolutely stunning. I'm really, really obsessing over this only because I've never really worn a style like this before. It just elevated me and kind of made me feel a little more confident, to be honest. I'm very, very used to wearing longer styles, styles that, you know, that look like my natural hair. And this, definitely, I would never go somewhere and actually request a style like this. It would just scare me to cut my hair. So what do you do? You wear a wig, ladies. Definitely try a wig before you go to the salon, pay lots of money, and cut your own hair. So I'm just gonna go into the cap construction because I think that's really important when you're purchasing. Now this is a petite average. So some of your reviews have stated that when you put it on, you can see the wefting in the back. When I hear that, to me that kind of sounds like your circumference might be a little bigger than a petite average. So when you put it on, it's gonna stretch to where you see all those weftings. So you can see my fingers through it. But the great thing about this is it has a left mono part. So you have that option of just kind of styling it right here, giving it some more flair. And if you want it a little more kind of voluminous, you could just take your fingers and just give it some more volume right there, or you could wear it really sleek. And you can do that by using some hair gel or some detangling spray, just a little bit. Remember, a little goes a long way, you guys. I don't want you to put too much in because then you'll have to wash more frequently and that can put a little more wear and tear on your wigs as well. So just a little bit goes a long way, a little bit on your fingers, and then you go ahead and style. So there you have it. Left mono part. You have open weftings on the sides and back for that breathability. You can tighten it up to a half inch. Let's take a look at this color, you guys. This is called Dark Sand Rooted. It's a light brown base, with the lightest ash brown and medium honey blonde blends. And you have that beautiful dark root. Again, I love a dark root, especially in a dark blonde or medium blonde, even a light blonde. It gives more dimension and contrast. So it looks like it's growing right out of your scalp. And Ellen Villa does such a good job. She has such an array of colors. And I feel like she's handpicked a lot of these colors specifically for a style like this. So this is dark sand rooted. I'm wearing aubergine mix. And I'm gonna try these on for you guys too at the end of the show. Just so you could see what all the colors look like on my skin tone. And here's for all my ladies who have the pure white. Look at how gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And look at that nape, you guys. I mean, it's perfection. So let me kind of show you what it looks like on me. I love a wig that is just so precise in the neckline. It literally hugs my scalp. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a wig at all. But I am definitely obsessing with this. So I can't wait to try on these colors. Let's just go for it. Okay guys, those are all of the top three trending colors in disc. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, which one you get. I love hearing from you guys. This is so much fun doing this with you guys and seeing all your beautiful comments and your support. 
Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.